Good morning and thanks for tuning in to interest.co.nz. I'm Janae Tibshirani and here's my wrap of what's happened around the world overnight. The European Central Bank's held interest rates at 0.0%. It says it's poised to increase its asset purchase program if needed, quashing any remaining expectations that it will signal a stimulus wind down. President Mario Draghi says while inflation has picked up, it remains subdued, so a substantial degree of monetary accommodation remains necessary, at least until the end of the year. He says the central bank will make a call on the state of, a, of its bond buying program at its October meeting. As Hurricane Irma devastates the Caribbean on its way to Florida, a risk modelling firm has revealed just how much damage Hurricane Harvey has done. Air Worldwide estimates flooding alone caused $65 to $75 billion of flooding damage to property in Texas. Yet insurance will only cover $10 billion of damage. China appears to be coming down harder on North Korea, saying the United Nations should take necessary measures against the rogue state. While South Korea and Japan support the US's push for tougher sanctions, China cautions these should spur negotiations. Russia isn't keen on more sanctions at all. Meanwhile, the US military has been met by thousands of South Korean protesters as it's tried to install the final parts of its THAAD defence systems in South Korea. North Korea is believed to be planning to fire another missile this weekend. Data designed to look at economic trends in the next six to nine months points to stable growth across the OECD. The OECD's composite leading indicator shows growth looks consistent in the US, Japan and Canada and across Europe. However, signs are emerging that growth may be stabilising in Germany and easing in the UK. Growth is expected to gain momentum in India and Brazil, as well as the industrial sector in China. In New York, the US Treasury 10-year yield has continued to track down. It's now at 2.05%, the lowest it's been since November last year. The price of crude oil is stable at $49 a barrel. The Brent benchmark is at $54. Gold has risen to $1,345 an ounce. The New Zealand dollar has strengthened to 72.2 US cents. It remains at 89.9 Australian cents and has dropped to 60.1 Euro cents. The TWI index remains at 74.0. I'm Janae Tibshirani from interest.co.nz. Have a good weekend.